Hey guys, it's Thursday, my weigh-in day. Um, I weighed myself this morning and I weigh exactly 234 pounds. I had a 2 pound loss this week for a total of 38.2 pounds in 13 weeks. <laughs> Yay! Um, this is my third video on YouTube, 13th week at home. Um, the two pounds, I am pretty happy with. I actually thought that I was going to lose a lot more, only because I've been so busy this week. I've been moving. That's why I look like this. <laughs> this is kind of like a last minute thing before I go to bed today, my video. Um, so I've been busy all day. I thought that I'd lose more though because I have been so busy and I haven't been eating like I normally would which I don't eat bad you know I'll eat breakfast have a snack have a small lunch and then supper and be drinking my water throughout the day and I figured since I've been so busy and not having my snacks that I'd lose more weight and since I've been busy burning more calories I thought that I'd lose more but I didn't <laughs> so I kind of realized this week that you do need to have your breakfast and snack and lunch. Some people have a snack in between lunch and supper, but I don't. Um, my water intake this week too, it wasn't too bad, but not as good. I think I could have had a better, <clears throat> a better number this week. But two pounds, I'll take it. That is better than maintaining, well maintaining would be good. The loss is better than a gain. <laughs> I'm just glad that I didn't gain anything. Um, but yeah, I'm in the process of moving. We're going to be moving to a different state soon. Um, so I've been having a yard sale all day. And I'm tired. And I've been so busy this last week. But yeah. <laughs> um... Things that I've been eating this week, uh, tuna fish, I finally have tomatoes in my garden, so I've been eating a lot of tomatoes, cucumbers, I laid off the zucchini this week because it does have more starch in it. Um, I haven't had anything bad. This is the first week where I can say that I didn't drink, I didn't go camping, I didn't I mean, have anything bad I mean. at all. Today I had a craving for ice cream. My son had um, birthday cake ice cream and it used to be my favorite and I just wanted a bite so bad I didn't take it. And I knew that I wanted that bite so bad because I was hungry. <laughs> so I came inside and I ate something and oh. I don't crave it anymore. <laughs> I haven't really started working out yet, but what I've been doing this week, I would consider working out. <laughs> um, carrying things up and down the stairs out of my basement would have to be like a stair stepper. It gets your heart going, it gets you breathing good. It's a pretty good workout. That's my son over there. <laughs> um... What else? Something I tried new this week. Um, I haven't really had any bread for the last 12 weeks. So this week I figured I'd try bagel thins. I've heard a lot of people talk about bagel thins. And they're just like a really, really, really thin bagel whole wheat. Um, I think one bagel was 24 carbs in like 100 and 15 calories. I don't know if that's exact. I'll put it in the down bar what the exact is. But I got them at Walmart for like $2.50. And I put just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of peanut butter on it after I toasted it. And that was really good. It kept me satisfied for a long time too, which was really nice. Um, it, oh, I, did, I tried South Beach Living Bars. But I found that after I eat them that... I feel really, really hungry. And I think it's because 
I'm done. They're like more of a a treat. They say that they're like a protein fit bar. So I ate it for breakfast. But I think it's more of like a treat. Um, it's got frosting looking stuff on top. I'm not going to keep eating them. The ones that I tried were like peanut butter and another one was um oatmeal and raisin. I think. Um, something I wanted to show you guys, which I'm in my bedroom today doing my video. Because the TV is loud out in the living room. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm just using the laptop instead of my video camera. Um, I have a chart that I have been keeping. And I've used this before on my diet. Um, I track my weight. And I just write it on this chart. I'll show you guys. Okay. So that's my... Start diet, starting weight, 272.2, and then I have, like, <clears throat> the days, the Thursdays over here, the days that I'm going to, the date that I'm going to weigh myself, and then I have week number, like, 1 through, right now it's 1 through 16, which I'm going to make it bigger, I didn't even think I was going to make it this far, um, my weight for the week, which this week is 234, my loss this week, which is 2 pounds, Right there, and then my total weight loss, which is 38.2. But um, this chart has helped me a lot. I have used it one other time when I was on a diet. I mean, it's a little embarrassing to have a chart, you know, in your house saying how much you weigh. But with it being on the back of my bedroom door, it's just me and my husband seeing it, and it kind of helps with him seeing it because he can be like, oh. You know, you lost two pounds this week. You did such a good job. Or, you know, I mean, it is embarrassing for people to know how much you weigh. But, you know, they might not know your numbers, but they can, they still see you. So, well, um, I think that's all that I want to talk about this week. I'm going to do a makeup video next. And I'm going to do that in the next couple days. As soon as I'm done with my yard sale, i got to get rid of all this stuff before I move so that we don't have to haul it. But, yeah, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a makeup video because I love makeup so much. Um, I think that's it, guys. So, I'll talk to you in a couple days if you want to watch the makeup video. Or, I'll see you next Thursday for my week 14. <laughs> see you later. Bye.